Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to Fandom Strategies. So let's talk about Cardano ADA. Um, it's been a while since we covered this coin. Um, so in this video, we'll be talking about Cardano, uh, looking at the technical aspect on the Cardano, how it's looking right now, and what it might look like in coming days and uh, weeks. All right. Um, I'll try to also do a weekly and the monthly chart and kind of give you like a little bit broader perspective on Cardano. But we'll start with the daily chart. Uh, so we go from small uh, to medium and large times uh, time scale all right um, so before we get started if you are new to the channel please make sure uh, you subscribe to the channel hit those notification and the bell icon so you can get this content right away and if you think this videos are helping you with your tra trading with your investing then please do give me a thumbs up that really means a lot all right um, so Cardano right now is trading at uh, around four cents uh, so we had a uh, recent low in Cardano, uh, which it made back in uh, December. It was around uh, around two cents, zero point two, uh, zero point zero two uh, seven. And since then, it tried to make some bounce uh, with the overall market, trying to get some traction. Uh, but it's relatively flat for Cardano right now. Um, I have said it before, and I'm going to say it again. The team behind Cardano, the, that's the selling point. You know, the team uh, that, that runs and do the um, you know the coding and you know the technical aspect uh, that's the selling point for the Cardano um, and you know they 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 are um, you know they're seasonal enough to like you know work through a lot of this downturn uh, in the crypto market in general uh, but Cardano used to be um, like you know the um, you know the one of the go-to coin for a lot of the investors and the crypto market it it went all the way up to like you know back if you remember in uh, early 2008 sorry 2018 it was almost like a dollar something dollar i can't even remember it was a dollar and 40 cents and you know it, it from dollar and 40 cents to around four cents so you can imagine it has a drastic drastic drop um there was a uh you know massive uh downturn like you know uh, i mean it it was uh, one of those situations where uh it it tried to get some traction but like you know the overall market just wasn't supporting and the crypto what one thing that you will see is it's not like stock market where um you will see uh like let's say apple is doing really good and let's say General Electric is doing a pretty bad it, it, because it's a two different concepts. One is a technology uh, sector, um, you know, uh, coin, and one is more of a blue chip, but into more into like you know uh, appliances and other like services that they offer. So these are two different like you know um, coins, but and they have um, they have different uh, fundamentals and they have different uh, strategies. Here is like the since the market is so early since the crypto market is so early in its and in its phase right now it's, it's like everything that the general trading that happens especially for the bigger coin it will be very um you know um uh you know uh, very similar like you know if, if bitcoin is moving then you will see a lot of other coins will move if uh if you know uh uh, let's say if Litecoin, Ethereum is moving, you will see a lot of other coins moving. But uh, the trading will be very similar. Like you know, it's, it's the crypto is a, a sector itself, so like you know, it's generally move in the same direction. All right. Uh, so that being said, you will see the pockets. You will see like a lot of uh, pockets here and there where you will see uh, speculative coins will uh, go up and down. Like a prime example is Tron. Like you know if. I um, I covered Tron in previous video, and it's uh, I was talking about there's an up channel attached in Tron, and uh, it it was looking good, and right now it's uh, today I think it's up around seven eight percent. All right, so you will see some pockets. All right, um, that's uh, always going to be there. Um, so right now. Um, <clears throat> ADA the trading range for Cardano is getting narrow and narrow. So what does it mean? So when a trading range, when a price action in the trading range gets narrow, that usually means indecision in the coin where like bulls and the bears are trying to fight it out in a sense that it's a 50-50 equation and like you know uh, there's not a conviction on either side there is not a conviction either on bear or the bull side so it's it's that's why the trading uh, range usually get narrow and narrow and what happens is when it comes right at the apex when it comes to the apex it usually um 
when the and at, at the apex there is the like you know uh, pressure that is getting built from over that over that uh, trading period and what it happens is like that pressure creates that upward or the downward momentum all right and usually um, depending on the market situation that pressure can be upward or it could be downward uh, but a lot of time it really depends on the market situation and um, especially in the crypto coins I have seen over the years that uh, that really depends um, at the apex it really depends on the market situation now let's say if the pressure is building and we are right at the apex um, and if the market overall market is positive then you will see a break out of that uh, that is very um, they're very possible scenario but uh if you want to see like if there's a sustainable breakout then you should look at the volume because when you see the volume and you see this breakout and if you don't see enough volume or like more than average volume of the uh you know trading range then you know that okay there is a breakout but it doesn't look like there's a conviction conviction in that breakout and uh, it can easily come down so those are the indicators that you have to kind of see in order to like you know um and that's where you really need a human eyes and human touch and experience that's where the that's where really the experience comes into equation uh you can have this or you know uh, uh robo tra trading you, you can have machine trading but the machine trading is at as good as the people who wrote the code okay so i'm going to repeat this again because it's a very important statement that i'm trying to uh, tell you is machine trading is only as good as the people that wrote those code now every um there are always 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 going to be flaws to those codes because like there's always different market situation there's always going to be external factors so you don't want that you you do you do want some hands on trading rather than completely relying on machine trading so um that's where like you need to be um implementing your risk management and your like you know your your um experience from a previous trade that's where you have to keep on learning from your previous trade and you're you know seeing how the market is reacting this is nothing but the psycho uh, a psychology game this is um a lot of the successful traders that i have seen over the years um are psychology majors like you know i have seen a lot of uh, psychology major doing excellent in trading because uh, this is nothing uh, the trading uh, the signals that you're seeing this uh, candle are nothing more than uh, people's emotion uh, at that given time um, on how it's uh, like you know to buy and sell uh, that um, uh, particular assets all right um, so that's that I have seen uh, you know most of the people who do really well is like psychology uh, who have like psychology background or psychology major in trading um, and usually um, I have seen female traders usually do very well in trading as well because they are very risk avert like you know they are very um, they want to make sure like you know if they're getting into something they are very they do their due diligence they are very protective about their capital so the female traders I have seen they have done quite well in trading because because um, they are very uh, uh, when you teach them something they easily um, absorb that concept rather than try to fight that concept and they they ask the right questions and you know uh, and so and and their sense to like you know usually they are willing to learn new things um, so those are some good quality um, obviously as a trader so keep those things in mind all right uh, so ADA right now again it's uh, it's like you know it's in the sideway action um, it's gonna you know the trading range is getting narrow and narrow it is getting some support from the 50 day moving average and I feel like you know that that will really dictate based on the overall market I I don't expect Cardano um, to run on its own until we have an overall positive market we have we do have some upper level resistance um, right around that five cents six cents more so let's see how Cardano react when we reach those upper level resistance so that will be my first target in Cardano around you know five six cents that will be my first target um, and uh, from then on we have to reevaluate the situation how it's breaking out of that upper resistance or is it pulling back a little bit and then uh, breaking out so but the first target will be around five cents in Cardano let's quickly look at the weekly now the weekly is a um, I uh, let me explain the weekly chart um, so weekly chart is basically the candles that you're seeing 
is a whole week worth of trading uh, right just like a daily when you see the uh, candle sticks in the daily that's a um, uh, trading uh, you know indication of the whole day now in the weekly this is an indication of the whole week all right so in the in the weekly it's stay, uh, staying right over, over the nine day moving average so barely uh, over the moving average the 50 day moving average is quite far so which tells me that it's like you know it's a little bit oversold right now if you really look at the weekly chart right so from the current price point the price 50 day moving average is 225 percent uh, away uh, that usually gives you indication that you know the Carano got sold uh, too um, too fast and okay all right and then it's due for a bounce so I expect Cardano to bounce back in like you know uh, perhaps maybe in month of February uh, since the moving average the 50 day moving average is quite far and uh, I wouldn't I won't be surprised if we have if we see a decent bounce in Cardano fairly soon the first level again is gonna be like you know around five cents then we have the next level gonna be around eight cents in Cardano all right monthly let's cover monthly um, monthly uh, we are like you know um, due for uh, like some we saw there is a doji uh, if you look at the last month there was a doji in the last month uh, the and like we are uh, let's see how the month of January finish but like you know usually when you have the doji at the uh, at the end of the you know um, at the end of the channel it usually signals usually it usually signals that turn around all right now we need to close the day i mean the month over the previous uh previous month high so like, if that happens that's a very good signal all right um but usually doji's is a good indication there is a turnaround coming up all right it's not confirmed but we'll find out right now uh, we need some more a positive news from the market and the overall positive market condition all right so that's uh cardano for you guys um uh right now we are just in the like sideway action but i think there is a turnaround coming for cardano um if we get a positive market then i think that will come sooner rather than later all right so um thank you again and i will talk to you soon